Hi guys, going to look at repairing my the amazing returning plane from the Science Museum that I bought in a charity shop for 50p a little while back. It's been abused a bit, um, been folded up. I don't think it was supposed to be folded up. Um, but anyway, we we flew it. And it flew all right, not particularly well, but eventually it just broke on the front here. And I was just going to tape it back together, which is probably all it needs. But I then remembered I'd got this little fiberglass spar out of a kite. And I reckon I can slide that in there. Stick it down in place. And that's going to be a very rigid fix. And to glue that in place, I'm going to use my new Gorilla Glue. Because I was reading it, and it says it's okay for foam. So, we'll give it a try. I'm supposed to wear gloves, so I'll put them on. I've got some little plastic clamps to hold it all together while it dries because you're supposed to leave it for about 24 hours it says it's about alright after two hours but I should be able to do this and then leave it oh you're supposed to dampen the surface as well that starts the glue curing just another little point this Gorilla Glue is expensive, or at least it's expensive compared to what I buy. I normally buy stuff in Poundland, so obviously it's a pound. This cost me five pounds, so I get as much use out of it as I can. Now, we're supposed to dampen one of the surfaces. I can have trouble getting water down in there. Oh, you're not supposed to soak it, you're supposed to just dampen it. So I've got a spray. probably far too much. And then what I'll do is I'll spread the glue along here. And the glue expands as it cures. Three to five times its normal size. Force that up in there. Want that to go down flat. Well. Leave it and see what happens. And with this, you're supposed to get the air bubbles out. And then seal the top down so it doesn't start going off inside. Just another obvious point that would have upset the centre of gravity now, so we're going to have to put even more weight at the front. Well, I've left this for about 9 or 10 hours, so we'll see if it's good enough. A bit of noise in the background, we've got the washing machine going at the moment. I was going to put tape over there don't know if it'll need it because that fiberglass spar I put in there goes down underneath the nose weight down to about here somewhere the other thing I did which I didn't think about properly was I actually glued the top edge there now, that little V on the front of the wing is supposed to 
poke in there. And I don't know if I've left any space for that to happen now. have to add some extra nose weight because that fiberglass spar is going to make it quite a bit mm, that's struggling it's going to make it quite a bit more tail heavy than it was yeah, that's not going to go in let's all pull that bit right off yes because I've didn't deliberately crush it up all the way along, but that's going to make the wing float about a bit now. While it was able to, the bodywork was able to spread apart, that held the wing in place. But now that I've crushed it up, gluing it, you can see it can wobble around a bit now. Balance is about here somewhere. Yeah, I may have to put a bit of tape on that. I'll give it a little throw in the kitchen, see what it does. Yeah, it's still quite tail heavy for what I want it to do. I want it to fly fairly straight. It's designed to do aerobatics and loops and that. We'll have to put up with the washing machine. That'll do. Flies fine. It's not doing what it's designed to do because I've changed it. I'm trying to get it to fly level while we're in the kitchen. Whether it'll still do aerobatics out in the garden, I don't know. It's far too wet and muddy to go out there and try it. Still, repaired and working. <laughs>